Hi YouTube. Okay, so this is going to be a new video series because I've not done one in absolutely ages. So I thought, get my ass into gear, start doing it again. Um, now, I'm going to apologise now. This is just a piece of paper with a uh, felt tip from the kids' drawings uh, things. Uh, I'm going to get a whiteboard so I can do this properly uh, eventually. But for now, it's just going to be a piece of paper. And it took ages to try and calibrate the, the colour and light and stuff, which, uh, well... <laughs> You know, just have to live with it. So, what is this series about? This is going to be about uh, games consoles and building your own. Uh, hopefully, I put that in the title. So, what I'm going to explain in this episode is I'm not going to put anything together or show you any electronics. It's just going to be an explanation of what a games console is. Because some people, you know, they they see a box and they say, "Oh, it's an Xbox One, it's a PS4, or it's an Atari 2600," and they just see a box with a controller and don't really understand what's going on inside and how similar they all are. So, for instance, this is what I'll draw then. So, uh, Atari 2600, uh, you have your, your cartridge. So, here's your cartridge. And then uh, you plug your cartridge into the uh, main processor board. Okay? So, in it goes into the board. And on the other side, you've got two outputs. Well, one's an in-out. You have, uh, this good pen's not very good, actually. You have your controller, and you have your TV. OK? TV. Maybe I'll swap colors. Let's see. Let's try blue. <clears throat> so yeah. So you have your TV. Much better. There we go. We can see that. Uh, so yeah, so here's your main your main board. Now maybe the 2600 isn't the best example because it actually did a bit of trickery with the memory, but we will uh, just use this anyway as an example because it is incredibly similar. So there you go. You put your cartridge in. Uh, you've got that's your input. You've got an, an in out which is your controller, and you've got your output which is a TV. Okay, and and you, you press the power button and away you go, you start playing your games. Okay, but what's going on inside? Okay, so you've got one more one more thing that's going in, and that's your power. Okay, so that's your power going in to, to power it up. Um, and that's it. Now, what's going on inside? Incredibly simple. You would not believe how simple a, a console actually is. You have in here your CPU. So this is a CPU, and in the case of the 2600 what was it a Z80 maybe probably everything normally was about them so we'll go with Z80 uh, so you've got your CPU you have your you have your RAM you have your RAM uh, you also have your uh, you have well, what we'll, we'll just we'll just call this um, uh, an IO input output controller We'll just call that an input output controller for now. And what that does is it talks to the rest of the, the other things that you're going to plug in. For instance, it will talk to the controller, the controller, uh, as in, you know, your, your gamepad. Sorry, when I say controller, people, people may not know what that is. So your gamepads. Okay, so, so the gamepad, when you press the buttons, that goes into this little gamepad controller which which remembers what button you've pressed and then passes that into the IO circuit which then passes it back into the CPU okay and the CPU is sitting there looking at the IO for when things change that's called it called an interrupt you press a button it interrupts the CPU and says button A has been pressed and then there is something in the program in the cartridge that says button A has been pressed what do I do oh make the character jump or something similar to that Okay, very simple. Uh, also, part of the I/O, you'll have the the video processor. So, if the the, the video, we we'll call it a GPU, why not? Okay, um, and that ha normally has a little bit of RAM as well, just to store the picture. And then that goes off to your TV. Okay, so here's the here's the twenty six hundred then, Atari. Uh, uh, I don't know how to spell Atari actually. <laughs> Atari. <laughs> Okay, I can't remember how to spell Atari. I'll go with that. Um, so that's it. That's it. So cartridge plugs into the CPU. That holds your main program, your game. 
Uh, power obviously powers everything, so you can forget power because that just that would just take that by default. Okay, so cartridge goes into the main CPU. See now in the cartridge are the things like uh, the sprites, the backgrounds, the logic on how to make a character jump. But what you need RAM for is things like storing your score, for instance, because the score can't be held in here. This is a ROM. Okay, this is read-only memory. This is ROM, and this is RAM, random access memory. ROM you can only read from. RAM you can read and write. So when you get your when you start getting your score up, you uh, your score increases and it goes into RAM, and then when it needs to know what your score is to display it on the screen, it can then read from RAM. Okay, so the CPU is sitting here running the program from ROM, storing the variable stuff in here, and every now and again, normally every frame, it will send a signal down to the I/O, which will tell it to send this this uh, particular uh, line of code or or sprite or whatever it is to the GPU, and it will say to the GPU, um, move the character, move move the character. I mean, I'm keeping it very basic for now, but we'll just go with that. Move the sprite along. Was there a collision? So this is actually uh, I/O because the GPU can say you've got two sprites and they've collided, so that it can then go back just like the controller interrupt, and it will say to the CPU something's happened. What do I do? Goes back to ROM. ROM says right if there's been a collision, blow it up or whatever it is, and the GPU will just say whatever's in the frame buffer in RAM, send that to the TV. Okay, so we've got a 2600 here. As simple as you get. Cartridge, CPU, some kind of I.O., your video processor, your controller processor, and you've got some RAM for storing stuff. You've got a TV, a control pad, and power. Okay, look familiar? Well, it should do. Because now we're going to look at uh, a PS4 stroke, Xbox, uh, X-Bone, whatever, Xbox One. Um, so what's what's different? What's new about nowadays? Well, let's see. So we've got our main processor board, as in what the Atari has. We've got a signal going out to a TV. We have a controller of some kind, whether it's a uh, a gamepad or uh, or Connect. Connect, connect. I don't know how to spell connect. I'm dyslexic, by the way, just in case anyone's thinking I, I just can't spell. It looks right to me, so I'm going to go with that. Um, so we've got our controller, we've got our TV. Okay, so uh, what else have we got? Of course, we've got uh, uh, DVD or Blu ray going in. Uh, we've got our power, of course, because it doesn't work without power. So, what do we have inside the Xbox? What do we have inside the PS4? We have uh, we have some kind of CPU. It's it nowadays it's a custom CPU. It's not something you can buy off the shelf like uh, in the old days where you would like the Nintendo would have um, a 6502 and then uh, it went to a 65816 when you got onto the SNES and then the Mega Drive they went with the uh, 68000 and the Z80 for the um, Master System, so you could just buy them off the shelf, which means you can actually put, build them yourself if you if you really wanted to. Okay, so in the Xbox or the PS4, we have a CPU and we have the DVD, which is your ROM. Okay, so that's your ROM. We have some RAM, of course, to store things like uh, your high score and stuff like that. Uh, we have some kind of uh, I/O uh, I/O controller here. So which is uh, this is called a, a bus in, in modern day it's called a bus and on the bus you've got many many uh, data lines and address lines but we're keeping this simple we'll just call this an IO controller for now um, so you have a uh, GPU this is your graphics processor user uh, graphics processor unit something like uh, an Nvidia or ATI or whoever the company is that's making the chip or chips which also has RAM to store uh, the frames to do the calculations for 3D and things like that. And then that goes off up to the TV. Uh, and then you have your uh, controller controller uh, circuitry there, IO circuitry, so it understands how to talk to a controller because obviously you can't have the controller go directly to the CPU, it won't know what to do with it. 
And um, and that's it. This is this is your PS4 and Xbox One. So the point that I'm making when when we start this series and everybody collaborates together and we make a games console together is that this is your Xbox One. This is your Atari 2600. Xbox One. 2600. Okay, is it is it clear the difference? What's the difference? There's no difference. They both have ROM. They both have a CPU. They both have RAM. They both have an I/O controller. They both have a video processor. They both connect to a TV. They both have some kind of controller interface, and they both obviously they both run on power. There's no difference. So that's where we're going with this series. Is that we're going to build a console. We'll do it together. Hey, maybe even a Kickstarter one day once we actually get the thing working. But we work together as a community, make games for it, make software for it if you want to, because it's no different from a PC, but I won't get into that. Well, why not get into that? I'll do it right now. What's a PC? PC has a CPU, it has RAM, IO controllers, video card, uh, sound card. Oh, I missed off the sound card, but it's the same, you know, sound card. They all have sound cards, again, off the IO controller. So we have a sound card which again goes up to the TV and mixes with the video signal. Um, but yeah, so when we build this this console together, this is it. We we we're not making an Xbox. We're not making an Atari. We're making a console, and all consoles are the same. There is no difference between 1970s console and 2014 console. The only difference is that the processors are faster. They have more instructions, which means that they. An instruction is like um, add two numbers together, divide two numbers together, things like that. That all it is is new processors have more uh, things that they can do, but essentially the bare bones of it, they're exactly the same. There's there's no difference. So as there's no difference, you could do it in the 70s. You could do it now. We're going to build a console. Okay, I think I've ranted enough. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, look out for the next episodes where. You know, I uh, I start to build it. I start to show you the the circuitry and everything, and and we start from scratch. And you can all follow along. Um, it's good to have uh, an oscilloscope so you can see that the circuit is working. It's not essential, but it would help to have one. Um, what is essential is a multimeter. So I'll show you a multimeter. Here's a multimeter. Um, if I can, if the light will work, well, I'm just about. Uh, basically, you've got two probes. And you can you can set your dial, and uh, we can uh, see the voltages. So it's very very well. That's essential. There's no there's no getting around a multimeter. Um, an oscilloscope is a nice to have, but they're a bit expensive. And eventually you're going to need a solder and iron and things like that. But you know we'll go through with the kits with the kits. We'll create a kit from this, and these video tutorials online will be the instruction book to uh, put it all together. And that's it. Thanks very much.